Hey everyone, welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian, and today on the Foundations of Yoga, we have Lizard Pose. Really juicy hip opener, great for the whole body. This is a request, so I wanted to get down low with you today and learn Lizard Pose. Let's hop on the mat. my friends, so today we're going to begin in Downward Facing Dog. Get on into your dog and just take a second to stretch it out. Why not? Oh, yeah. Then from your down dog, we're going to step the right foot up into our lunge. Go ahead and lower the left knee. And let's just take a second here to explore the body. So the thing about the foundations is we're breaking the pose down. But I also want to be mindful of the fact that this might be the first thing you've done all day and you might be a little tight or a little sore. And so we're not trying to like cram our foot into the shoe or, you know, you know we want to kind of ease into it, stretch into it. Uh, that's a good note for teachers too. You know, if you're demonstrating things, you want to make sure that you're stretched out and warm as you demo things. Okay. So that you don't hurt yourself. Okay. So then we're going to come into this nice low lunge. Back knee is lowered, front knee is stacked over front ankle. Then go ahead and bring your right fingertips over to meet your left, and then we're gonna walk our right toes out towards the outer edge of that right side of the mat here. Then I'll come onto my palms, and I'm still connected through my foundation here, so knee on the ground and toes really mindful on the earth. So now right toes are out, I press away from the earth, and I'm just gonna hang here. So I might be on the fingertips, a lot going on here. Or I might be on the palms. Or I might be on a block. Since I have a bolster right here, I'm just going to use a bolster. But you might be on a block or you can take some books and lift the earth up to you. And I think a common thing in this lizard pose and lizard variations, which is what we're learning a couple different ways today, is to get kind of caught up in getting into this, this thing too fast. You know, pre prepping for some sort of, you know, Ekapada Kundiyasana or something like that. <laughs> and really, we want to we wanna slow it down so that we're taking every little muscle along for the ride. And lots of integrity still in the spine. So if you're not able to find a little extension in the spine, maybe open your chest towards the front of your mat here, then stay up nice and tall and work on that. If you are kind of able to find a little integrity in the spine, a little connect with the neck and shoulders, then maybe you do slowly lower down, coming to the palms, or maybe even to the forearms here. So we're working at all different levels. If you're like not in a million years, you'd be surprised with a little bit of practice. You could probably lower these forearms down safely and feel good. So we're here, we're here, we're here, we're on a, on a prop if we need to. And then we find our breath. We pull the right hip crease back here, my friends, just gently pulling back. So we're not just kind of mindlessly sinking into the posture here, but we're really integrated. If the forearms are on the earth, spread the palms wide. Really press into the base of the palm. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. If you're feeling like you want a little more heat and you're ready to explore, you might lift the back knee up. Or you can keep it lowered. And we can do that in any variation here. Breathing into the tight spots. And if you're like, what does that mean? Breathe into your hips, baby. Send breath. That means take fuller, deeper breaths. And this is a great place to hang out as we uh, open up the front of the left hip crease, of course, open up the right hip crease. Really great for connecting the spine for when we want to maybe head into some other more interesting looking maybe poses or... Um, Balancing postures, of course. Take one more breath wherever you are. And then the dismount, the release is really important here. More important than I think you might think. We don't wanna just oh, topple out or rush out. We're gonna come out of it with the same mindfulness. So walking the palms back up, inching the right foot in back to center as we bring the right fingertips around. And then from here, I'll lower the back knee if I haven't already, and I'm gonna think up and over as I send my right hip crease back. Once again, this time coming onto the right foot, really flexing the right toes up towards the sky. And I inhale, find that extension just like I had in my lizard variation. 
And then on an exhale, rounding forward. So just a little counter pose here to keep it real. One more breath here. Not sinking all the way back here, but I'm keeping uh, the hip pretty stacked over the front knee, or the left knee, excuse me. Deep breath in. And then on an exhale, we'll roll through the right foot, come back to that low lunge, plant the palms, and send it to downward facing dog. Deep breath in. And long breath out. If you're like, whoa, Nelly, new to the practice, need to chill, lower the knees and take a rest in child's pose. Otherwise, we'll stay in downward dog for two more breaths. Great. If you're in child's pose, come on back to downward facing dog. And then nothing fancy here. We step the left foot up into our low lunge. Lower the back knee, right knee comes down. We find our foundation here, just nice and strong, connecting to the toes of the back foot, but also really kind of letting that awareness travel to my center, my core, my shoulders, right? So I'm not isolating any part here. I'm kind of moving as one part, moving as one moving part. That was redundant, but at least I got my point across. Okay, here we go, walking the left toes out now. And then bringing that left finger, the, that left palm and those left fingertips to each his own here around to meet the right. So take your time getting into this, trying to just allow you a little bit of time to play. Again, we're not trying to, you know, just kind of shove into the shape here, but really give ourselves um, the time and space to experiment and explore. That's the beauty of this Foundations of the Yoga series. So maybe eventually you come on to the palms. And again, I just invite all of you to open your heart forward and really pay attention to the extension of the spine here first. And then once you feel like you've integrated that, even just the awareness may not look exactly like mine, but the awareness, then we can start to play here. Maybe lifting up on a prop, or coming down. I encourage you to find your breath again. And then wherever you are, see if you can really kind of lift away from the earth. So although we're sinking the hips down low, we're not just kind of mindlessly dumping all the weight. There's a little bit of press into the palms, a little bit of press into the elbows. Maybe you lift that back knee up, and maybe not. Left hip crease gently pulls back and the lower belly is engaged. Wherever you are, take one more full breath cycle in. And out. And then we'll slowly unravel. Nice and slow. Coming out of the posture with a smile, with maybe a sense of relief. We walk the left toes back in, left fingertips come around, and counter pose. Lower the back knee if it isn't already, and we'll send it up and back. Really tugging the mat gently, perhaps with the left heel, and really, really pulling that left hip crease back. Find your breath. Maybe you play a little bit on this side with this wave of the spine, finding that extension. Hmm. Noticing how your neck and shoulders feel today. One more breath. And then we'll slowly roll through the left foot, plant the palms, and slide the left toes back downward facing dog. Deep cleansing breath in here, my friends, in through the nose. And exhale out through the mouth. Good job. All right, my friends, awesome work. That was lizard pose. Make sure you comb through the foundations of yoga and learn other poses from the ground up. This is a great place to play, especially if you're new to the practice, but also if you're wanting to eventually venture out into public classes, this is a nice series for you. 
Let me know how it goes, questions, comments, welcome below as always. I appreciate all the positivity and all the questions. And this, like I said earlier, this video was a request. So send in your requests too, things that you wanna work on or you have questions about, let me know. I'll see you next week. Free yoga videos every Wednesday. Till next time.